silently moving through the forest. Only the sound is a kata song echoing through the green canopy. One with the creatures around her. She lifts her gun in the air, and all that's heard is a swift exhale. Her prey falls, and the forest continues its song, undisturbed. The blowgun, aptly named the breath of death. Throughout time and continents, its uses are many, from hunting to put food on the table, all the way to covert missions tipped with exotic poisons. The blowgun dates back to the prehistoric era and is found in almost every continent and culture from Southeast Asia to North America, from medieval to Mayan. Surprisingly effective, it's simply a tube made of materials like bamboo, iron, and carbon reinforced plastic. Loaded with projectiles such as seeds, clay pellets, or darts, it's shot by blowing air into the tube forcefully, which propels the dart out the end with unexpected velocity. Most effective at short ranges and small game, projectiles can travel at speeds of 400 feet per second with a simple whisper, barely disturbing its surroundings. This makes it not only ideal for sneaking up on game, but also for dark missions that require covert discretion. Three cultures stand out in both unique methods and unique poisons. North American tribes crafted blowguns out of river cane and tipped the darts with poisons made from boiled toxic plants like cassava and golden poppy. Or dip them in snake or Gila monster venom. They favored backing their darts with rabbit fur, milkweed cotton, or feathers, and sometimes even twisted the darts for more accuracy. In Japan, blowgun cultural roots run deep in the modern sport of fukia as much as the ancient school of ninjutsu. Ninja favored this tool alongside the shuriken as their secondary weapons and often dipped both into potent poisons derived from wolfsbane and pufferfish toxin. They even notched the darts at the tip so they'd break off in their victim more easily. Beyond the more obvious covert uses, the blowgun could be a breathing pipe to survive underwater approaches or getaways, and sometimes even contained a blinding powder made of fine pepper dust to act as a kind of mace. But arguably, the most famous blowgun practitioners are the Amazonian tribes. They gather poisons from plants like the curare or poison dart frogs roasted in fire to release their toxins. They crafted dart tips from metal, stone, and even piranha teeth and adorned their blowpipes with feathers and wood carvings. They use their poison darts mostly in hunting a variety of jungle creatures including birds, small jungle cats, and monkeys but also employed them in tribal warfare. Though now outlawed in some countries and states, blowguns are still used today in hunting, competitions, and even to safely capture wildlife, equipped with tranquilizer or stun darts. In more recent times, they catch pop culture imagination in movies like Raiders of the Lost Ark, The Mummy, Apocalypto, and countless other films. Yes, The Breath of Death 
is still alive and well today. Remember to subscribe and follow on social media channels like Facebook and Instagram, and we'll see you next time.